Here we have a uh, Harley Davidson wheel that I've just rebuilt. Um, it doesn't look pristine because I believe this one's going to be uh, powder coated anyway, but uh, I put it together for the owner, ready to do that with if that's what he wants to do. I'm pretty sure that is the case. Um, I'll try and have a look at this single handed and show you how I check a few things on it. Uh, whether the camera will pick this up or not, I've already got a string line set up here. The spokes in this wheel, all 40 of them, are all the same length. So that tells me that the, uh, the wheel wants to be on a central plane relative to the hub between the two rows of spokes. So I just checked to make absolutely sure, as I didn't have any figures for offset or anything, what I do is I put a string line across and eye it. It's pulled tight across the rim there. And just see at what level it lies relative to the hub. And the spokes going through it, you can see it quite clear there, because it's just above the outer row of uh, spoke heads. Um, if we take the string line underneath, perhaps the camera will pick this up with any luck, you should see that we've got pretty much, or hopefully, the same amount of space between the string line and the spoke heads. Uh, on the spokes on that side of the hub. So that tells me that the wheel, hub and rim are correctly aligned on the sort of what would be the horizontal plane on the bike then. So I'm happy with that. So we get this string line out of the way. And next up we've got the dial gauge there. Um, one revolution of the hand on the face of the dial gauge equates to a millimetre. So we can check for vertical run out on the rim. Right, so that is well under half a millimetre in vertical plane. In fact, it's nearer, not much over a quarter of a millimetre. So I'm very happy with that. I'll just put the camera down a bit and we'll check the side to side. gauge round to a position that suits. There we are, and now we can check what will be the side to side run out. And that there is showing just a whisker over half a millimetre max. which is uh, well within limits. That can vary a bit as well, depending on where you sort of take the readings from, but uh, that's pretty good. And lastly, I've got the spokes all tightened up. This is a little adjustable spanner that I used on the uh, spokes. Now then, let's uh, listen to what note they play. They should all be similar, if not bang on the same. It's, it's, it's rarely the case you get them all to play the same note, but here we go. Being right round, I would say, there, and the ones underneath. They all sound pretty much the same to me. I think that's ready to go. There's one extra Harley Davidson wheel in the world today. There we are.